Have you ever done something that's such a pain in the ass that you tell yourself you're never gonna do it again? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to meet Exhibit A. Many of you guys know uh, Battle Arrow, which happens to be the company that makes the chassis spoiler, does not make them for what is literally one of the best selling, most produced Mustangs ever, the S197. Oddly enough, they make them for the New Edge Mustangs. Why do, do I got a floater or some crap on my eye? And they make them for the S550 Mustangs, but S197 Mustang owners were just we're just uh, kind of kicked to the dust and forgotten. So the only option we're left with is to essentially buy a new edge or wing and pretty much just modify it to fit your S197 Mustang. A feat alone that's hard enough on its own and uh, surprisingly, somehow Battle Arrow managed to make it even worse. All right, so for starters, they shipped the damn thing out with like 15 different pieces, 30 different kind of bolts, and zero, none, zero instructions, like not even a picture. Like here's what it's supposed to look like, or you know how the box has a picture of what it's supposed to look like, and us guys, we don't even read the instructions. We're like, hey, I'm gonna look at the picture and I'm gonna build this thing. I couldn't even do that. I had to use my imagination to build this damn thing. Last time I used my imagination for anything, I was watching SpongeBob. You know that part where he's like, imagination. Imagination. Oh, but you thought you thought that was it? Um, no, no, it actually gets worse. But before, because I know the OCD people are just people, man. Listen, listen. I'm on my way to AutoZone right now. Some of these fuckers will not come out. They're just spinning. So I'm on my way to get this crap removed. This is gonna be odd. As nice as I can get it. But we're talking about the spoiler right here. The chassis spoiler. Somehow they left some kind of weird like weld residue. Or like pieces of the actual holes for the screws they had little weld and metal pieces in it that the actual screws wouldn't go through so I had to take a freaking rat tail file and I had to freaking file down a bunch of these freaking holes right here because just the construction on this thing was horrible but wait it gets worse um some of the holes that all of these studs or screws or whatever the hell are supposed to go through they're supposed to just cleanly go through they weren't big enough they, some of them were getting stuck one hole will go fine and then it would strip the screws so you have to drill out at all the holes one by one every hole that you're going to use you have to drill them out a little bit bigger because they didn't make them the size the appropriate size for these damn things to go through them Oh, but it gets better. It gets better. What, what I like to call the icing on the cake. Pretty much the decals. They provided these like decals to put on the side uh, on these uh, end plates here on the actual on the actual wing. Well, they were not cut properly, which means uh, actually it's kind of convenient because after paying over actually a thousand one hundred dollars, this thing right here, guys, a thousand one hundred dollars for this half-ass chassis wing. There's no way in hell I'm going to give these guys free advertisement i mean I, I understand if this thing would have cost maybe 300 bucks or something like that but if you're paying a thousand one hundred dollars for a chassis mounted wings dude throw in some instructions make sure that the holes that you provided are like cut properly that the screws that you provided fit in and then there's like 30 different screws you got to figure out which one goes to what it's just one big pain in the ass this process alone itself isn't easy and they just made it just so much worse but Anyways, with all that out of the way, just stay away from bat Battle Arrow. Stay away from them. I paid 1100 for this. You better believe I'm going to leave this thing on. I'm not going to ship it back with this Corona crap. And then it's going to take like seven months for it to get my money. And I I'm not going to put up with that crap. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to make this thing work on an S197 Mustang. Because there are zero instructions out on the entire internet. And uh, there's no videos on it. Now, I kind of winged no pun intended i winged the hell out of this thing and it worked and i wasn't filming at the time so i'm not going to show you step by step but i'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown now what i got was the wing for a new edge mustang and what's what it's going to bring 
is this crash bar right here. This crash bar is gonna replace the original crash bar that's on this Mustang, that's on your S197. This crash bar is flat. Our crash bar is curved. That's the problem. The problem with that is I was only able to use one of the original mounting points for the crash bar. And then I, what that means is I had to drill out a new hole and put my own stud through there. And then I got a nut on the other side and tightened that. And I pretty much did the same thing on the other side. I think, I mean, it's as solid as it's gonna be. I'm still eventually gonna drill another hole through that and put just an extra safety screw. Then after that, what you guys wanna do is you're gonna grab your brackets that hold your wing, these brackets right here, and they're gonna attach to, damn, God, it sucks living in the country. Look, it doesn't really suck, but all these gravel roads and crap. Look at this crap. Anyways, you're gonna mount it from the outside, 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 onto your crash bar. The top bolt, the top bolt screws on to this brace right here, and you're gonna follow that up to the middle hole and the same thing on the other side top bolt screws on to this X brace and it goes up to the top one as well after that you just secure two or more two more bolts on each side two more bolts on each side then there's this little uh, Allen bolt right here you're gonna use that to secure the middle of your brace after that you're gonna want to make sure you see how the wing is curved and it's somewhat flat the curved part goes to the left flat part goes to the right and these are not backwards this is actually exactly how these end plates go you want the flattest part facing to the right and you want this kind of curved part facing to the left after that you're going to secure your wing to this bracket here with all those bolts and then after that you're going to secure the wing that's now attached to this bracket you're going to attach the bracket to the top part of your uh lower bracket right here it's one screw uh you got this one screw going through it and then you got another screw it's the very top screw one screw and another screw and that pretty much and that's pretty much gonna be it. The hardest thing about this thing was having to guess and figure out where each and every one of those damn bolts goes to. And then obviously it was using a crash bar that's not even meant for this damn car because these guys don't even make a custom chassis wing for the S197 Mustang, which ran from 2005 to 2014. Literally, that is one of the longest running just platforms for the Mustang. And I am shocked that they have not yet made some kind of custom freaking thing for this damn Mustang. So besides this, uh, like I said, this is a flat bar. Ours is curved. Besides there being this little gap right here, besides that it's solid. This thing is sturdy as hell, sturdy and dirty. I've driven it for over an hour on the highway. Uh, speed limit is here 70, you know, doing some spirited driving. Uh, maybe now and then going a little bit above that and it's uh, it's held pretty damn good there's gonna be some gives a little bit of wobble here and there that's perfectly fine if you ever see any drift car or anything like that the wing is never super rigid it, it gives way um, definitely a crazy amount of grip uh, it's incredible actually any speed over 70 literally the car just squats down you can feel the car just doing that it just kind of squats that thing is gone uh going around all these little tennessee twisties and corners and all that it is absolutely a blast this thing grips like a mofo i also added these uh s550 style front headlights i forgot to include that i did my very own grill delete look at that oh yeah she's breathing a lot better now guys either way I just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, how to if you decided you ever want to do a chassis wing on your S197 Mustang because nobody else out there in the world is doing a video like this apparently. So 
Either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random. I uh, got to go try to get rid of those damn screws at the bottom. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.